Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. This week in the studio, I am going to jump on this mosaic. I have an idea for the background and I wanna work on it while the idea is fresh in my head and I'm still feeling inspired by it. That's one thing. And over here, my nephew is coming over tomorrow to make some progress on this. But the true thing that I'm going to be working on this week is this embarrassing mess that I have and have been unable to get on top of. I am going to tackle this and you are going to see something different by the end of the week because I can hardly even walk in here. It's just not good. I was actually able to fold up the table and consolidate quite a bit of stuff and still have one little workstation here for my nephew. So when he's finished, that'll all get cleaned up. I'll, I'm probably going to make this a cutting station and it's just way better. I can see the floor. I've been thinking about the idea for this mosaic and uh, several other like it for a while. The idea that we should shelter in place, that this is our safe haven, that out there are germs and bad things that we don't want to be in our little bubble. And so I had created a very simple home and a symbolic garden in this bubble. And outside here is all the bad stuff but it's not completely without relationship. There has to be a relationship between out there and in here. And so I put a little bit of the yummy goodness sort of emanating out to the world without letting that bad stuff come into the world. I couldn't decide for a while what to put out here. And what I have finally come upon is the idea of asphalt because it is something that I could easily come by. There are chunks of asphalt in my neighborhood when I go on my walk that I kept eyeing week after week. And uh, it's a little bit crumbly, but with using thin set and small enough pieces, I think it is going to work. I'm gonna use black thin set back here and I'm getting ready to start. So I'll speed up the process and you can see me first take my slaked thin set and add it to a baggie and then go from there. and he finished the tree and this side of the owl mosaic. So now he just has the night sky. Maybe he'll put some more branches over here and then he'll be finished, just this side. And then he and his brother can grab their things and we can get my studio cleaned up a little bit more. I have all of this small tea that I purchased from another mosaic artist and it is sitting in these boxes. There's one box there, there's another box here. And there is some more under the table. So it's just not working for me. I can't see it, I can't use it. And so I am taking some advice from Kelly Knickerbocker and Karen Sessine. They use these little boxes, these little drawers to organize their small tea and a lot of their other tessera. So I bought just a few to try out. so much better. It went from this to this. I can now see the colors. The numbers really aren't that important to me unless I need to reorder some, but holy moly, what a difference. I did want to say that these little compartments, I mostly bought one pound increments and it looks like they hold comfortably up to one and a half pounds. 
this little drawer has two pounds in it and it is sort of packed to the brim and there it's a little bit tough to get it in and out. So maybe two pounds is the absolute most. So then with the double drawers down here, I'm sure you could go, I had two pound increments. This one I had three pounds and there's still some room in there. So, oh my gosh, I just love it so far. Of course I can't keep it on this table, but that's where it's gonna be until I can find another space for it. Now I gotta make the labels. Uh, another thing that I really like about them is that if you want to rearrange the drawers, let's say I think that this, or how about this pink one and this orange one need to change spots, I don't have to dump the pink out and dump them somewhere else temporarily. I just switch the drawers to reorganize how I want them. And I also like these little clips. Now they're temporarily on the sides here, but they clip the two things together so you can stabilize it both with the one next to it. And also you can take the clip off and if I can take it off whoop, and you can put it in between the two so that when they stack vertically, they become more stable. So this is not their final resting place. So I haven't clipped anything together yet, but those are just some things I like about these. That's it. I needed something fun and easy to do. And so I very quickly made this little tempered glass heart mosaic and I will be grouting it. finished grouting that little heart and I mixed up some thin set and I am going to work on finishing the sides of this so that the mesh does not show and after it sets up I will be painting the edges to sort of match the sides in the gold color. the thin set to the edges about 18 hours ago so I'm on the next day and it is not fully cured yet it takes a while for the cement in it to cure but it's a little bit rough you can see how rough it is and so I'm just taking a uh, sanding stone and I'm going to go over it and smooth it out quite a bit Still easy to work with and a bit crumbly. So now is the best time to do this. And then after it cures for three days, I'll be able to go in and do the painting. And cement continues to cure over time. So in 28 days, I think it's reached pretty close to uh, its full hardness. But I think even after that, it continues to harden over time. So. That's it. I'm going to do it to all four sides and looks better already. But when I once I paint it to, to match the top, it'll, it'll be even better. It'll disappear. I want those sides to disappear.
putting it together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.